Well, you know what they say, lightning never strikes the same place twice, or maybe in this case, it did. Hmm. Well, we got a brand new plane from Ocean RC, uh, made by Freewing. Uh, pretty excited to get into the box. Let's get to it. All right, well, here we have it. We have the uh, Lightning 2. Uh, this is again by Freewing, and uh, boy, I couldn't be more excited uh, than to pick this model up. Uh, as many of you know, I've just started really getting into the uh, EDFs, and this is a plane that just, it just hit all the right buttons for me. So, uh, yeah, brand new, just hit the market. Uh, kind of happy to have one of these on hand right now. They are sold out on the site right now, so it's kind of hard to get your hands on one of these. Of course, it's flying season. It's hard to get a hold of any plane, it seems. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's pop this box open. Uh, you know, exterior, uh, pretty simple stark design. You know, we tend to critique boxes a little bit based off of that. This isn't terrible. Graphics are all the way around. And we have the, uh, the nice molded foam uh, that we like to look for um, holding the plane together here. A little bit of interesting uh, design on the back. We're not just flat, but we got some contour to it. So um, let's pop this thing open. We'll see how it looks on the inside. There we go. Oh yeah. Well, it looks like we've got two layers of foam. Um, manuals right on top, love that. Super uh, easy to find and get to. And my gosh, look at this, look at this packaging. That is just gorgeous. Wow, uh, really well done. Looks like we've got two tiers. Let's see what the second tier looks like too while we're at it. Lots of tape and uh, supports here. So this is, this is really well packaged. Oh yeah, oh, what a beautiful plane. There you go. See, that's, <laughs> that's just exciting. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start with this. There's nothing to cut out. Um, so this is a mid-price tier uh, model from uh, the Freewing line. Uh, Motion carries some interesting uh, EDF jets and uh, you know, you've got kind of a range around oh, 120 to 170, 180. Uh, this is uh, priced at $270, and then they have some that are $400 plus. Um, and, and then you get the upgrades. Um, the thing that excited me about this plane, besides the airframe itself, um, is this actually has rudders installed in the tail. Um, you know, we've played with several of their other lower price models, and none of them come with rudders. Uh, installed, or uh, should I say servos and a control surface in the rudder. Uh, beautiful little piece though here. Beautifully painted. Um, looks like we have a live foam hinge. No mechanical hinges here. Now on an EDF I wince at that because this thing's designed to go fast. In fact, how fast? Well, we're going to find that out. Um, this has got a 70 millimeter um, 12 blade EDF in it with an 80 uh, amp ESC. So there's some power there. Uh, control surfaces tend to tear off if you get going too quick. And oh, oh, well, oh. So there's your answer, I guess. Um, I have very mixed feelings about this. They send you a assembled rudder that then you have to tear apart. There are no instructions for that in their manuals, by the way. And then they give you a kit of plastic um, uh, uh, hinges for you to install. I think I'm gonna go with some higher quality if I'm gonna go to all the effort, uh, put in an actual metal pinned hinge. So not the end of the world, but something to note. Um, boy, what a beautiful looking airframe. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. Just make sure we're doing it delicately here. <clears throat> Wow, there's some heft. There's, there's some real heft to this. Uh, this definitely by itself weighs at least what the other EDFs we've been playing with are uh, in the lighter weight category. Uh, from what I understand, this is actually a redesign of one of the planes they had in their lighter category. Um, that did not earn a good reputation. Um, some construction problems, uh, design problems. Uh, affecting the durability and the lifespan of the plane. Apparently in the landing gears and elevators ripping off. Surprise. Um, boy, what a beautiful paint job on that. Nice and even tone, no blemishes. 
immediately out of the gate I see we've got a retractable gears. These gears are cool too because they're all aluminum and all of them have some sort of a shock installed in there to, to dampen your, your landings. So that's really exciting. Um, they've also gone with an interesting system for the elevator installation back here. We'll get to as we, uh, we do some of that install. But uh, they've, uh, they've got an interesting slot and screw system. Uh, pretty new design, nobody's done before. You know, and while I'm here, let's just pop the top, take a peek. Beautiful canopy, nicely painted, good seam line, slight overlap so you don't see that white seam. Boy, that is just gorgeous. Just a huge bay. Now, from what I understand, uh, this is designed, even though it's a 70 millimeter plane, to run off of the same EDFs that they're running off their 80 and 90 millimeters. So that would be a six cell uh, between four and 5,000 um, amp hour battery. They recommend the four uh, for um, you know best flight characteristics, uh, less likelihood to crash. <laughs> That's the way I interpret that. But uh, yeah, it's nice because you know those batteries aren't cheap. Six cells aren't cheap, and uh, being able to use these same batteries that you've got in other planes. Honestly, it's one of the few reasons I really like the E-Flight line is you've got a three cell 2200 or a four cell 2200 and use it across every single plane they've got. Um, that has been nice. All right, let's get into this packaging. All right, first thing that wants to come out here is we've got one of our wing halves. Uh, beautiful, again, paint job. Nice, clean, consistent. Let's get into this bag. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, no control rods installed, not the end of the world. Again, we have live foam hinges. Um, one of the other bonuses is this has all metal gear servos through the whole plane. So that adds a whole lot in the durability factor. Uh, you know, <laughs> then we go and throw that out the window with a weak, uh, weak hinge joint, um, which, you know, we will strengthen up. Other than that though, beautiful piece. You can see that they've got an inlay here, hiding a carbon fiber spar. Uh, good looking wing segment there. Um, speaking of which, there is our spar. That is a decent spar in length. Not bad. Good diameter here. Looks like we're all probably between, I'd say, seven, eight mil. Uh, not bad. Um, go ahead and pull our other wing half out. Uh, Packaging is really nice on this, really clean. I'm not having to fight anything, so I appreciate that. Other wing segment there. Looks nice, like it's in good condition. We'll pull out uh, another protective block of foam. And uh, what do we got here? Oh, we got elevators. All right. And indeed, there was an unusual setup on this. All right. Oh, well, first thing I'd like to see is we've got a nice metal ball joint uh, for our, our clevis there. Beautiful setup there. Beautiful piece of uh, foam there, nicely contoured, some delicate little shaping there. Uh, we've got a, a decent looking hinge. It does have plastic pins, you know, not the end of the world, but uh, just something to note. And then uh, an interesting little slot there. So that plugs into the back of the plane, couple screws, that's installed, and then uh, some control rods. I I'm definitely getting the impression this plane's gonna go together very quickly. Um, okay, we've got our, our other elevator. Nice. Uh, we got a part and goodie bag. Uh, there's our control rods and just a handful of screws. Bottle of glue. We're not going to use. We're going to use foam tack. Always use foam tack. And uh, looks like the final piece here is a nose uh, for this. Oh, and of course, see this is this is what we like to see on the, on the mid to to upper tiers. At least that magnetically attaches, so, uh, you know, boom, the installation's done. Uh, kind of nice to be able to take and, you know, on a hard landing, replace that, get rid of the scuffs, whatever it may be. Even just, uh, you know, transportation-wise, you know, you get a little hanger rash, a little, little car bounce, you know what I'm saying? So, there we've got it. Gorgeous looking plane. Um, good looking pieces. This is going to be a fast build. Uh, so, why don't we just hop into the time lapse here? We'll put this thing together and uh, throw out some of our first impressions.
Alrighty, folks, here she is. And I gotta be honest with you, it is a gorgeous plane. I mean, just fantastic. Um, build went really well, super, super easy. Um, quite literally, we had, uh, what was it, eight screws, two per rudder and elevator, and uh, four for the wing, and, and that was really about it. Uh, we did have to adjust all of our control rods. Not the end of the world, I realize, but uh, so many manufacturers right now are producing planes where we don't have to do that. Um, you know, it was just one of those things where, yeah, you go and turn on your radio and it centers all your servos. It's like, whoa, that's way out. I mean, not even in the ballpark. So uh, we went and tweaked those. Everything looks gorgeous on it. Um, God, amazing plane. Uh, let's do a thrust check and then we can talk a little bit more about some of the details on this thing. Um, Golly, 70 mil, uh, this is gonna put out some power. And this thing's sleek on top. I, I hope I can hold on to this. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow, uh, I'm gonna do that again here. Just because I couldn't believe how gentle it accelerated. I mean, listen to that low RPM right there. I mean, there's no thrust whatsoever. It's just so gradual. Woo! <laughs> this thing is gonna cook. Holy cow. Uh, so again, six cell in here using the same batteries that are larger planes using 80 and 90 mils are running so uh yeah holy cow uh tons and tons of power there make sure we hit that uh so uh, interesting things that i did note from the build first and foremost the pilot and cockpit on this are very very good um pretty darn impressed with that um good details uh we have a little bit of a control panel in there better than a lot that we've seen um, you know, the next thing that kind of comes right along with that is the hatch. Um, super uh, impressed with the hatch. This is really easy to get in, to work in. There's tons of room. You're not cramped. Uh, I really personally appreciate that. Um, you know, and then the, uh, the locking top, of course, then we're not running around the airfield looking for where our, our canopy is. Um, yeah, assembly again went super easy. Um, all of our control surfaces are really quite nice. You know, we've, we've got our ailerons, we've got our rudders, and of course that steers the nose gear as well. Uh, that has an independent servo for that. Um, the elevators though. So, the elevators work and they look gorgeous. Um, very little complaint other than on mine, uh, the right side here um, rubs. Uh, it, it, the hinges do not line up properly. It will uh, bind up right there and we're already taking all the paint off of uh, the, the side there. So I'm gonna have to probably figure out a way to, to create a little bit more of a clearance there for that. Um, last thing I want is to be sitting there flying and have an elevator bind. I, I can't actually think of too many things that would be worse than that. Um, you know, other interesting things that we ran into. So the ailerons, they work great, right? Well, they, they didn't. And, uh, well, we ran into a problem with that and actually with one of our rudders where um, when they paint this plane, and it's, again, a gorgeous plane, gorgeous paint job on it, but when they painted it, they left the ends of the servo leads exposed and they got a good misting of paint in fact so much so that it made one of our servos kind of wig out and so we had to go in and, and uh, um, clean off the pins there and then it was able to work properly but that was a tedious little thing I didn't expect to do and it was just a, a pain in the butt here at the end of the, the plane. Um, so just kind of be aware of that check your contacts on this plane. Um, you know, the gears on this thing are just fantastic. Um, they're very rapid operating up and down. Love that. But on top of that, we also have all the way around shock absorbers. 
springs to dampen our, our landings. The nose gears and the rear gears, and the rear gears are dead vertical. Um, the, the front gear rotates slightly back, um, which is nice. Uh, that's gonna absorb a lot of that, you know, harder impact on a rough landing. Um, and honestly, it's gonna make the plane last that much longer. So, you know, just a beautiful feature there, I can't complain. So overall, you know, $270, uh, this is brand new from Motion RC, um, free wing, and golly, it's just a gorgeous plane. Version two of their uh, F-35 Lightning. A little bit bigger, a whole ton of improvements all the way around in construction, durability gears, and even power output. Um, this one I'm excited to fly. Now, to help me with that, um, I've gone ahead and installed, um, you know, I had, I had really waffled, oh, do I just, you know, throw in an Admiral, right? It's an R Motion RC plane. I chose not to, and here's why. I went with a Lemon um, receiver. Uh, I went with their Lemon um, Gyro Stabilized uh, Plus, and that plus is very important on this. Now, again, I'm, I'm a newer EDF pilot. Okay, um, I'm still learning a little bit of the flight characteristics of these planes, um, and it certainly isn't muscle memory yet. This receiver has not only a gyro option built into it, but a, in essence, clone of safe, where it has the auto orientation and the ability to, you know, auto, auto level if you let your fingers off the sticks. Um, the auto correction on this is fantastic. I'm actually looking really forward to that. Uh, so most people don't know this, uh, Admiral is actually made by Lemon. So the Admiral Motion RC line of receivers is made by Lemon. They chose not to use the Lemon name, they're rebranding. Um, they just don't have this specific version in an Admiral. So, well, there's where my money went, to the Lemon. Um, we do have some of the Admirals that have the uh, um, remote antennas as well. And those are kind of exciting just from the standpoint of never losing signal. But I wanted the stabilization on this plane, um, especially again being a newer flyer. And this is a this is a more advanced EDF. There's no question about it. She is a beautiful model, and I wanted her to stay that way. Well, so there you have it. The F-35 Lightning by uh, Freewing, sold and distributed by Motion RC. Uh, you can pick this up uh, on their site for $279. Probably about the same price at your local hobby store. Uh, they tend to follow their pricing structure and models pretty hard. Um, and uh, I got to be honest, I'm excited for it. I think it's a beautiful plane. It gets a big thumbs up from me. So we're going to take it out, do its maiden, make sure it's worth its spit. But uh, until then, keep flying. And uh, just in case you were wondering, it has an EC5 connector. Um, just kind of a good thing to note. Uh, you probably already know that, Mom. Thanks for watching.